Hey everybody, it's Mr. Math Blog. This is Distance on a Coordinate Plane, Lesson 3-9 in our textbook. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, so here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our question here is, how can we find the distance between two points that lie on a horizontal or vertical line in a coordinate plane? Okay, so here we go. So graphed over here are the uh, uh, are the points uh, A, which is at negative 4, 3, and B, which is at 5, 3. See how they're on this horizontal line right here? Notice how uh, they have the same Y coordinates right here. So if they're on the horizontal line, uh, then they have the same y coordinate. So as each unit represents one mile, how far apart is it from A to B? All right, so what we're going to do is find the distance from A to B. So find the horizontal distance from A to the y axis, okay? So think the points have the same, which coordinates do they have the same? They have the same y coordinates, so they're located on that horizontal line right there. So find the distance between the x coordinate of the point, uh, this point right here, negative 4, 3, and this point right here, which is is at 0, 3, okay? So we go to the left or right 0 and then up 3. That's what this point is. So we're going to find this distance from negative 4, 3 to 0, 3. And the distance on the number line is just the absolute value of the number. Remember, absolute value is always positive and distance is always positive. So the distance from negative 4, 3 to 0, 3 is going to be the absolute value of negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is just 4 right there, okay? And then we'll now we'll find the horizontal distance from uh, B right here to to the y axis. Here's the y axis right here. So we're going to go ahead and find the distance between the coordinate coordinates uh, 5, 3, and then this point right here, 0, 3, right there, okay? So uh, the distance from 5, 3 to 0, 3 is the absolute value of that 5 right there, which just equals 5. So now we just add, uh, uh, add those lengths, 4 plus 5, and that's going to equal 9, or 9 miles, okay? So the distance from point A to B is going to be 9 miles. Easy enough, huh, you guys? So explain how we can check that we found the distance correctly. Okay, well, what we could do is just count the the squares and find out that there's nine squares going across and so that remember each square represents one mile try to always answer the, the question in the context of the problem so it asked how many miles so it was nine miles okay nine squares don't just write nine because you don't know if you were saying nine pounds or nine trees or you know in this case it's nine miles okay so it's always good to answer the question so explain how we can use absolute value to find the distance between points B and C Okay, uh, what is the distance? Okay, so find uh, the distance from point B to the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to find this distance from point B to the x-axis. And then find the distance from, whoops, I forgot something here, from the x-axis, sorry, it should say right here, to point C. Okay, so we're going to find the distance from the x-axis to point C. Uh, let's see, I don't want to, anyways, it should say point C right there, okay? So um, that distance is uh, the absolute value of 3, and then this distance, which is down here at, uh, looks like it's at 5, negative 2, so we're going to find that distance. Uh, it's the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2, and then we just add those together and we get 5, so the distance from point A to, or for point B to C is 5 miles, okay? All right, so uh, in the previous problem, we can use absolute value to find the distance between points in different quadrants. We can also use absolute value to find the distance between points that are in the same quadrant. So here's an example right here. So we're going to find the distance between the pair of points on the coordinate grid. We've got two examples here, actually. So here we're going to find the distance from point A to B right there. Okay, so it looks like A is at negative 9, 6, and B is at negative 4, 6. You see how these are horizontal right here? They have the same y values. They have negative 6 as the same y values. Okay, so look at the coordinates on the points. The y coordinates are the points that are the same, so it's on a horizontal line right there. Okay, so think of a horizontal line passing through A and B on the number line. Okay, so since it's uh, they're on the same horizontal number line, we're going to look at this negative 9 and this negative 4 right there. Okay, so, on, so here's A at negative 9, and here's B at negative 4 right there. All right. 
Now I know we can just count these squares and that'll just tell us right here, but, but they want us to use absolute value in this lesson. So, so what we're going to do is uh, find the distance from A to 0. Okay, so here's 0 way over here. Okay, so it's the absolute value of negative 9. Okay, and then the absolute value of negative 4 is the distance to B right there. Okay. So 9 and 4, and then we just subtract those distances, and we get uh, 9 minus 4, or 5 units. And you can just count them, you guys. I'm sure your teacher would be okay with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Um, but, you know, in this lesson, they probably want you to fill in some blanks and stuff, so that'll help you. So the distance uh, from A to B is 5 units. All right, let's do this here, you guys. So... Uh, this time they, they are vertical with each other. And notice when they're vertical, they have the same x coordinate, which is that 8 right there. Okay, so look at the coordinates on the points right there. So the x coordinates are the same. So the points are on a vertical line. So here we'll make a vertical line and we'll do the same thing. We'll find the distance from point C down here to 0 and then find the distance from D to 0 right there. Okay, all right, and then we'll subtract those. So find the distance from C and D from 0. Okay, so the distance from um, uh, D to 0, okay, so here's D right here, so this distance is going to be uh, th the absolute value of 3, okay, and the absolute value of 3 is just going to equal 3 right there, and the distance from C, these are positive, so here's C, so this is the absolute value of 10 right there, and so that's going to be uh, 10 right there, okay? All right, so then we subtract those distances, and when we subtract those distances, we plug in uh, 10 minus 3, and that's going to give us 7 units right there. Okay, and these are going by 2s, you guys, so if you just remember, you can just count them too. Here's 2, 4, here's 6, and then a half of 1 would be 1, so 7, it would be 7 squares. So the distance between C and D is 7 units, whatever the units are. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.